Reels recap here. A colossal black hole materialized near Mars, proclaiming itself as God. Astronaut Carla Gray, aboard a spaceship, reflects on her life back on Earth. She recalls how Earth was dying, but her family managed to find happiness in each other. Her final evening on Earth remains vivid in her memory. Carla, her daughter, and her mother strolled down to the ocean, where her mother shared a story with them. In the story, five men were stranded in a tiny boat adrift at sea, carrying food for only three of them. Carla's mother asked, Carla, how should they determine which three should survive and which two men should perish? Carla distinctly recollects her mother's response, even though she remains uncertain about why her mother narrated the story. Tragically, a few hours later, an accident claimed the lives of both her mother and daughter. Carla and the rest of the crew are on a spaceship called the Achilles, and they're in a deep sleep. Carla wakes up before the others and goes from the back of the ship to the front using an elevator. The rest of the crew wakes up, including Tez, Sean, Ulf, and C. C is on the ship because he's a blogger and wants to write about the journey. Carla goes to the command cabin and meets Captain Senator. They both look at a mysterious black sphere that's the reason for their trip. The sphere showed up near Mars a while ago, and they know very little about it. The mission's purpose is to investigate the sphere. Carla asks Sin if they've got any new data now that they're close to the sphere. Sin says they do, but the data doesn't tell them anything useful. Carla wonders why their scanners, which can see through whole planets, can't see through the sphere. Sin admits he doesn't know. Carla is surprised that Sin wants them to get closer to something they know nothing about. C arrives, documenting everything. The CEO of the space company, Vance, talks to the crew using hologram technology. He tells them that the entire world is watching and waiting for them to figure out what the black sphere is. Carla tells Vance that their data doesn't reveal anything, even though they're getting closer to the sphere. Vance says that the sphere is the biggest mystery in human history, and if their scanners aren't helping, they need to find other ways to investigate. He tells the crew to go talk to their families in their rooms. While Miss, the ship's AI, takes control of the ship, Carla is on her way back to her room. She hears her mom's voice, and at the same time, C also hears some voices. Suddenly, a beam of light shoots out from the black sphere and hits the Achilles spaceship, causing damage to all the ship's communication systems and cutting it off from Earth. Carla asks Miss what the source of the light is and what hit the ship, but once again, the data provides no answers. Sin insists they continue on their path towards the sphere, leaving Carla puzzled. A signal starts transmitting from the sphere to the ship. Carla interprets the signal and discovers that it repeats the word Deus, which is the Latin word for God. C becomes very anxious and says they should turn back. Carla argues with Sin, stating that they need to stop and investigate further before proceeding. Sin says there's no point because their scanners aren't finding anything. He's strangely insistent on moving toward the sphere, saying they must follow orders. Carla can't understand this and goes to comfort C, who hears voices and believes its judgment. He insists they must turn back. Carla tells Sean and Ulf what's happening, and they discuss it while Sin watches and listens through surveillance systems. They talk about whether the sphere could actually be God. Carla isn't sure, but the rest of the crew is scared. Carla says it's not God and Ulf suggests they need to find out. If it's not God, they should destroy it. Suddenly, they're called to the command cabin. In the command cabin, Sin warns Ulf not to talk about destroying the sphere anymore. Carla then hears her daughter's voice, and C is also hearing voices at the same time. Tez tells Carla and Ulf that C has gone deeper into the ship, and they need to find him. C is doing a strange ritual, carving symbols into his body with a knife. Tez goes to get him, and he attacks her. Ulf and Carla follow the screams and find C killing Tez. Carla tries to hide, but C sees her. Ulf arrives and finds C holding Carla hostage. C says they need to turn the ship around, but Ulf and Carla suggest talking to Sin about it. C tells them not to trust Sin because he knows something. Sin arrives and shoots C in the head. He tells Ulf to clean up the bodies of Tez and C. Sin and Carla are heading back to the front of the ship, and Sin is strangely calm about everything. 
Carla asks if he knows anything about the sphere, and Sin says he only knows what the sphere claims to be God. Carla says she doesn't believe in God, and Sin taunts her, saying the whole world is watching and waiting for them to complete the mission. They reach the sphere, separate from the main ship, and land on it. While landing, Carla detects a structure on the sphere. Communications with Earth are restored, and Vance appears to talk to the crew. He says structures like the one Carla found on the sphere, thousands of them are now appearing all over Earth. Carla wants to know what the scientists on Earth are saying about the sphere, but Vance says nobody knows, and it's up to them to figure it out. Sin instructs Carla and Ulf to go out on the sphere and observe the structure. Sean wants to go too, and after some insistence, Sin agrees, and Carla also wants Sean with her because he's another scientist on the ship. The three of them go out onto the sphere. Carla notices that the material the sphere is made of is unknown and not found on the periodic table. She identifies the structure as a gateway, and a light starts to appear from it. A woman emerges from the light, and she looks like Carla's daughter. More signals with words come from the sphere. Ms. translates them for Carla. The woman from the gateway welcomes them, and says she speaks for the Creator, the Alpha, and Omega of everything. She tells Carla that humanity faces a choice. Those who enter gates like this one will return to their creator in peace. Carla must go through the gate and tell humanity the truth about what's on the other side. Carla asks what will happen to those who don't enter the gates, and the woman says the sphere contains the event horizon of a black hole, and it's getting closer to Earth, threatening to destroy it. Sin gives Carla permission to enter the gate. The woman then turns into Carla's mom, and with emotions, Carla goes through the gate. She finds herself in a beautiful green field behind a golden city, and her daughter is there. They start running towards each other, but the vision ends before they can meet. Carla wakes up on the ship in terrible shape. Ulf tells her she came out of the gate barely able to stand, and he carried her back. She notices Sean is missing, and Ulf says he didn't make it. Vince appears on a call and says the world wants to know what she saw beyond the gate. As she starts to recall her experience, she notices a smirk on Sin's face and stops. She doesn't mention the part where she saw her daughter. Vance and Sin tell her to rest and leave. Carla asks Ulf what happened to Sean, and Ulf says his suit ruptured. She doesn't believe him and insists on going back to the sphere, but Ulf says they're already preparing to return home. As they reach an unsupervised area, Ulf stops and asks Carla why she didn't tell everything about her experience. Carla says Vance and Sin already knew what she saw beyond the gate, and they just wanted her to talk about it on camera. She's not sure why. Carla checks Sean's suit and finds that it wasn't damaged. She goes into Sin's room and takes his gun. In some files, Ulf arrives to stop her. The files reveal that Ulf was a great soldier on Earth, and Carla asks why he's on the ship. Ulf explains that Vance put him there to maintain order. He's like a hitman hired to deal with problems, and he's the one who killed Sean. Carla takes Sin and Ulf hostage and demands answers. Vance shows up and insists that he has the answers. He claims that she saw something heavenly beyond the gate and shows her that because of her, millions of people are now starting to walk through similar gates on Earth. Sin tries to attack Carla but she shoots and kills him. However, she gets hurt in the process. She's about to shoot Ulf, but he convinces her that even though he joined as a hitman, he now wants to understand what's really going on. As Ulf helps Carla with her injuries, she expresses her desire to return to the sphere. But she can't because Vance controls Miss. Ulf says he has the code to override Miss, but they'd have to get rid of most of the ship. The ship is too large to steer manually, and without the bigger part, they won't be able to get back to Earth. Ulf mentions that the smaller module of the ship can transport them back to Earth, but it will take about six years. He also has another plan. Carla goes to the command module and insists that Vance tells her the truth. Vance reveals that the sphere isn't something from outer space. It's built by people using a special material that can easily make massive structures. The gates on Earth are constructed from the same material. He came up with this plan because the Earth was dying due to overpopulation and the sphere does contain an event horizon. 
This whole thing has been set up to convince billions of people with religious sentiments to willingly step into the gates and die, drastically reducing the population. When the population reaches a decent level, the sphere will be destroyed by a military strike. He also reveals that Carla could hear her mother and daughter's voices because Vance implanted a small device in her brain after her accident. This device made her see and hear things as Vance wanted, including the vision of her family at the gate. He wanted to present the world with a scientist who found something like God to make everything appear convincing. Carla figures out that Vance probably arranged the accident that killed her family from the start, and he doesn't deny it. She shares a story her mother told her about five people stranded in the ocean with only enough for three. Vance thinks this means she agrees and will join him, but Carla says her mother's solution was to look for fish or an island, giving everyone a chance to create their future. She tells Vance that no one should act like God. Meanwhile, Ulf has been getting another used-up core to destroy the sphere. Vance orders Miss to make the ship self-destruct, but using Ulf's special code, Carla separates the smaller part of the ship just in time. However, the smaller part can't make the core explode from a distance, so they have to do it on the sphere's surface themselves, knowing they will both die. Carla and Ulf reach the sphere, but Ulf gets out and locks Carla inside. He insists that she must return to Earth and tell the truth about everything. Carla reluctantly agrees because she has no other choice. She pilots the ship away as Ulf makes the core explode, destroying the sphere and sacrificing himself. Carla calculates that the journey back to Earth will take seven years. She embarks on a long and solitary journey back to Earth. I hope you enjoy watching our recap video. Do subscribe and click the notification button to help the growth of this channel.